Check, check. There it is. Okay. <sighs> yeah, uh, sometimes the, the audio does not work correctly here. Um, let me double check. I should be able to hear the game as well. It's just really quiet. Yep, there it is. There it is. Okay, perfect. So, we're continuing the marathon here. Going to be playing more of Mario Brothers 2, and uh, I'm considering if I want to do, hmm, if I'm going release date, technically Lost Levels came after Mario 3. Hmm. We'll see when we get there. So for now, we're going to be continuing the American Mario Brothers 2, Doki Doki Panic, that whole... You've heard it a million times. You're gamers. So, let's get into it. Oh, man. I I, I had small issues getting my uh, pre-order for 3D All-Stars set up. Uh, for whatever reason, my bank declined it the first time. They thought it was fraudulent so I had to I had to redo it but yes I have it it's all it's all set up and ready to go so actually I'm probably gonna do like I did with the Paper Mario and I'm gonna have it set up for the the the, the night of like I'm gonna I'm just gonna stream up until midnight and then play a little bit whoop get out of here you, you friggin fat boy no chonky mans not a fan. Oh man, I shouldn't have. Whoop! I shouldn't have gotten all those. Whoop! Ah, oh, damn! Just wasted it entirely. Well, don't I feel foolish? Well, this ice isn't so bad, but with these guys running around, it's it's woo. It's tricky. I think isn't there like a thing with a uh? There's like a thing with a. Oh, what is it? Uh, oh, like a whale later? I might be thinking of a different game. Nice, there we go. Okay, I got one. Can I get that coin? Ah, damn. I think I have to anyways. Yeah, woo! Rocket ship! Here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, we're right in the fight. Birdo! Oh, not Birdo. What are you? Hello? And is that it? Is that all I gotta do? Is, it, is there a fight over here? What's happening? Do I just gotta get to the end of this, or...? Huh. Never actually played this bit, I'm realizing. Shit. Oh, God, these little guys. They don't seem that threatening. They're just little chonky boys, but, uh... Yeah, for whatever reason, they are incredibly hard to... Hard to avoid. Oh, it's because they're a little bit faster than you. I got it. Oh, wow, three viewers. Well, that's a, that's a peak viewing experience for this stream. Hello, everybody. Feel free to talk and chat. Definitely let me know if you hear any audio issues or anything. I'm... Definitely gonna want to fix them ASAP. Uh, I'm also gonna do a little bit of a test later because we have the PS4. I almost said three. The PS4 out in the living room, so I'm thinking of streaming through that some Fall Guys because I played for the first time last night and it's super super fun. Loved it. <laughs> Club's popping. Yeah, exactly. Whoops, I clipped the mic there. Sorry. At least it sounded like I did. I can't tell if it sounds that way for you guys. Damn it. Oh god, the ice, it's so slippery. Um, I know I hear a, a clip sometimes. And I, I, I've talked to people who have watched the stream and they're like, they don't hear anything, so... I guess maybe it's just my uh, perfectly attuned ear doing audio productions. Quick, do I gotta, like, destroy that? Oh, I got it, I got it, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're already about halfway through this. There's only seven worlds in this game from what I read. Whoop, whoop, I need that heart. Okay. And uh, then we're going to move on to either Mario 3 or Lost Levels. I'm going to do Lost Levels for sure, but I uh, I don't know if I need more warm-up first, because I know it's really hard, and I was already kind of raging at the OG Mario Brothers. Whoop, yesterday. Which, if you want to check that out, you can find it on the past broadcast tab up above, or on my archive channel. Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, you can find it linked below on the browser version. That has all of my past streams. If you're curious, I'm just gonna go. Oh yeah, it's just a dodgy thing. Okay, that's fine. That works for me. Let's go! Oh, I ain't getting any coins. It's fine, it's fine, I need them. For two. 
Yeah, I'm... I'm surprised I didn't play more of this, because I had it on GBA, the, like, remake. And it's... it's real fun. Oh, jeez. Hold on. <coughs> oh, God. Ugh. <coughs> oh, sorry, I have I have allergies. Yeah. Oh, now my eyes are really good and watered up for this. Whoa, Jesus! Oh God, so many boys. Oh, oh, these guys! Oh no. Yeah, yeah, they're a little bit faster than you, and they they just slip slide around. Ah, oh, damn it. Thank you, one. I appreciate it. Alright, save and continue. That's fine, that's fine. We're only set back by one level. And similar to what I was saying about the uh, original Mario, the levels in this are not super long, but they are really interesting. I don't know, it, you don't really see as much stuff um, that's as creative as this in modern gaming. That was one thing I loved about Odyssey, is that they, like, really put their all into it. Oh my god. Let me in! Let me in! Yes? No. Well, I'll get some coins at least. Here we go! Let me out! Whoa! Okay. And I can get one at the end here. I just gotta get past all these slideys. Was it this one? No. This one. Yeah. There we go. Get that mushroom coin, and can I get the last coin? Nope, not enough time. I don't need to get that because it's just like a, 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 a radish or whatever. Okay, moving on. And since I know we just need to get to the end now, I will not dilly dally. Yeah, this one, it's only really two screens. I mean, well, not screens, but two, uh, two areas. There was that area I just went through, and then this bit, and that's the whole level. Huh. And yeah, NES games were pretty, pretty short. Helps me, I'm doing a marathon, you know, it's all about time. <sighs> I should do Odyssey sometime, absolutely. Oh, I love that game. It's so good. I, I w daren't I say do a hundred percent run of Odyssey? No, I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> there, there's just too much in that game. There are literally thousands of uh, moons to find. Like I probably could, but it, it would that basically mean that this turns into an Odyssey channel for uh for quite a bit. Ooh, oh no. Almost picked Mario. Not that I got a problem with the guy. I just, uh... He's not who I want. He can't do a little floaty. He just does a little jumps, you know? Alright. We're doing it. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright. Whoa! Ah, crap! Oh, man. This is a hard one. They're all over the place. Ooh. Whoa! I do, I, I will guarantee I'm gonna play all of the Mario games on here at some point. Um, not sure where, how I'm gonna do Galaxy or the ones that are on 3DS. I do plan on getting like a 3DS capture at some point. It's just, uh, gonna have to wait until, ah, here's the whale. Yeah, I was talking about this. Big ol' whales. I'm pretty sure you can stand on their, their spouts. Um... No, oh, great. Ow! I thought I was higher up. Whoops. Thankfully, this one just takes you to the last uh, door you came through. Um, yeah. Gonna play all the Zeldas, you know, because I, I am a huge fan of that franchise. Here we go. Gonna throw it here. Ah, no mushroom. Four coins, though. Ooh, five coins, actually. Let me, let me get it. Yes! Whoa! Ah, oh, uh, I held the... Nah, whatever. 
Mario teaches typing. I will certainly do Mario teaches typing at some point. Uh, Galaxy on the... Th uh, sorry, I had like three thoughts in that time, and I think I only vocalized one. Um, fuck. Um, but what I, what I was saying is, to do all of the Mario games, some of them are on DS and 3DS. I do have a DS emulator, but um, to do some of them, I'll need to get... I will need to be able to do 3DS as well. But Galaxy, I will need to find a way to do Wii. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could just get like an RCA to, to HDMI convert. What the fuck? I hit the floaty. Okay. Um, from whatever, what everything I've seen of 3D All Stars Mario 64, it's gonna be. It is going to be the OG and not the DS one, because they didn't show any gameplay of Yoshi. Which is one of the big things of that one was that Yoshi and, uh... Nope, nope, no coins this time? Okay. Is that you could play as Yoshi, Luigi, and Wario. And there were also mini games, which I feel like they would definitely advertise if that was a thing, because it's value-added proposition and all that nonsense. Oh, I saw that star. Too late, too late, I'm going. I'm going. Let me up. Let me up. Whoop. Oh, no. Not what I meant to do. Ugh, crap. That's like the softest I can jump. I gotta... Whoop. There. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. That can hurt you? Shit. Uh, Smash Brothers could count toward the Mario count, but I'm I'm gonna say the my the mainline Mario games, the ones that are specifically for Mario, because if you had to pick a character who was the main face of Smash, it would be Kirby, honestly, because um, Sakurai cannot help but bring in his his little pink boy. Um, but I will probably do Smash as well, because I. I have t a ton of great gaming memories playing the original Smash. I never really played Melee or Brawl. Uh, I played a little bit of, what was it, just Smash 5, I think it was called. And Ultimate's all right. Uh, I haven't played it nearly that much because I'm just not very good at it. Damn it. Oh, this level's hard. Captain Falcon is the face of Smash. Well, shit, I'd love to do the F-Zero game, so... Maybe I'll do those and include Smash in that. Who knows? I'm just gonna ignore that potion. I can't figure out where the hell the uh, mushroom is supposed to be. Ah, damn it, there was that star again. It's fine. It's fine. I am fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Trying not to get hit. Uh. Let's just... Whoa. Well, that's that's fine. I don't know what's through that pipe, but uh, I'm going to ignore it unless I have to. Okay. Smash 4. Right, it was Super Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers Melee, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, Super Smash Brothers again, which is often referred to as Smash 4. Um, and then Smash Ultimate which I presume is going to be the last one, although it wouldn't be the first time a game company has called something ultimate without it being the last. Uh, no, I don't. Th they were pretty much the same game. What the- Oh, goddammit, I'm supposed to ride the thingy. Yep. I got it now. Shit. No. No, let me on. There we go. Um, yeah, I only really played the... Whoops! Oh, right. They're spiky. Mm. Okay, let's try that one again. 4-2 is really hard. Um, but yeah, from everything I heard, the Wii U one was a little bit better, but overall, Smash 4 was kind of underwhelming. Which, eh, that's... That can happen at that point in a, in a series. Whoop. Yep, whoop. Here we go. Let me grab this. Nope. Grab this one. Grab a coin. One coin. Ah, damn. Every time. Whoop. 
That's a good question. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, Sakurai really does treat all of them like they are the last one. I mean. It's also because the way that they're treating it, where they're just adding more and more competitors, it's like, do they need to make a new Smash? Not for a long time, at least, because they pretty much can just keep adding fighters to this one. Fighters and, like, um, uh, the battlefields, stages? Stages. So it, it can be sustained for quite a long time on that. Obviously, they'll want to update graphics and things eventually. But... How exactly are they uh, going to do that? Is it just going to be a patch? Or is it going to be a a new game? Who's to say? Not me. I don't work in Nintendo now anymore. Okay. I'm going to actually uh, create a suspend point here because I keep losing on this level. And I don't want to have to keep going through the first one over and over. Ooh, yeah, what do we think are going to be the next Smash Fighters? They already had the, my, like, top dream pick of Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, hopefully they won't do any more Fire Emblem, but knowing them. Um, what are some franchises they haven't hit? Uh, I would like to see Picross Mario. Nobody ever talks about him, but he was the one who had, like, a pith helmet, and he was all, like... Egyptian, like, archaeologist themed. Smush. Smush is a good name for it. Um, Shantae. Shantae would be a cool fighter. They definitely like uh, fighters with different modes and stuff, so that would certainly lend itself to a lot of that. Ah, shit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go over here and see if I can get the mushroom on the tail. Now, damn, I really just cannot figure out where the mushroom is on that one. Ooh. The fact that the bottom of the spout does damage to you is a, uh, it's a neat dynamic, but it's also, uh, ah, shit. Mmm, Mechanica from ARMS would have been cool. Uh, I personally prefer Lola Pop out of all of them. I think she has one of the most fun designs overall. But yeah, Min Min, Min Min is acceptable. I still, shit. Oh, I'm rusty, I'm rusty. Um, Yeah, Min Min is still my background on my iPad. And really the one that like, of those, I do like that they showed them all in the trailer so it could have been like really any of them up for grabs. And I do, I'm just glad that they didn't do Springman, because I figured they were gonna do an ARMS character with everything that they were setting up. Um, but, yeah, the Springman would have been real boring, because he's just the, the standard Mario of that game. Well balanced, but otherwise, not much of interest. Maining Min Min, yeah. How does Min Min play in a uh, Smash versus uh versus Arms? Like, it's always interesting to me when they take a non shit. Good thing I made that suspend point right there. Um, it's always interesting to me when they have a fighting game character who is not Smash. Um come in like that. Hey! Does that give me a heart? Now I gotta get four for a heart. Cry. Really? Why do you hate Ninjara? What's what's his deal? Like I said, I never really played much of ARMS. I liked Helix a lot when I played it. Um, I played a little bit of Lola Pop just because I, I loved her design. But otherwise, yeah, not a lot of... That game didn't get a lot of play for me! Ah, shit. Whoop! Whoop! One more! One more! Oh god! Okay, doing this on the ice! Oh, it sucks! Ah, oh, fuck! I missed! I missed! Wait! Wait for it! Don't miss my opportunity! 
Yes! Yes! Whoop. Heal me up, baby. No, I need it. No. No, no. Oh, there we go. Okay. Mmm. You know, that makes sense, though. It, yeah, because his dodge, instead of just physically dodging, he, like, teleports, right? Oh, I didn't get any coin. Alright. Once again, I'm gonna create a suspend point so that I don't have to redo 4-2, because that was brutal. What, Birdo? Birdo right now? Right off the bat, Birdo? Okay, hold on, let me see. Nope. Damn, I don't necessarily care for this mechanic. It feels good when you actually do get the friggin' uh, the the mushroom, but it's like it feels very random. <laughs> nice. I just yeah, I, I just wish there it was more uh clear where you're supposed to do that, and I feel like if they did a remake of this game. They would probably include some indication of that. I don't know, like a little sparkle or something. Oh, I was supposed to ride the egg. Hold on, hold on. Shoot me. Shit. No. Nope. I flinched. Come on. Come on, shoot me again. Come on, Birdo. Shoot me. Here we go. Here we go. Anything to dodge? Nope. Ah, I was just supposed to save the potion for over here, I presume. Yes. Mm, yes, that would have been the place to do it. Well, that's alright. That's alright. That's true, yeah. I, I noticed that, yeah, you can switch between which arms. Um, which... Definitely adds some strategic elements. That's the thing. I, I I appreciate fighting games. I recognize that, like, they are very strategic. It's just strategy at a very fast pace and involves a lot of specific timing. Uh, the main reason I don't care for it is just because I'm not very good at it, so I never feel like I can enjoy it at a higher level, and my eyes are a little too slow. I can't notice the specific frames the way uh, a lot of people who really appreciate fighting games can. But I, I do appreciate the, the concept, and I do have fun playing something like Smash, because it's a little more accessible. And ARMS, ARMS felt really accessible. Ooh. Do I do I use it or do I save it? Do I use it or save it? <laughs> use it! Ah, damn it! Again! Doing real bad at this. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Writing it out. I like this idea. No. No to cherries. My score. Do I? Hmm. I hope I didn't want to stay. Oh. It's the Fontus. Okay. Just gotta get him over. Whoa. And go, 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 go! Okay. Gotta go. I don't even know where exactly I'm going for this one. Just go down. Just go downwards. Oh, watch out! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shit! Right, you can't jump on top of the Phantos. I always forget that. Okay, this was always my move as a kid, was just throwing the key. Shit! I didn't see him come up from bottom. Oops. It's all good. It's all good. Just gotta start over from right here. Ain't too hard. Alright, I just gotta convince them over here. And then grab that key. Grab it. Grab it! Grab it! Let me out! Come on, come on, come on. Yeet! Now, if you're super pro, I remember you can actually, like, hit the Phantos with the key and, like, knock it out. But there's a new one. Come back pretty soon. Nope, never mind. I very much misremembered that. Ugh, I just know he stops chasing you if you drop it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, let me out, let me out. <laughs> let me in! 
Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna create a suspend point. For safety. For safety. I mean, it's like safe stating, you know. Listen, I said this is a marathon run. I didn't say this was no safe state run. Alright. Is this the one? Nope. Oh, shit! Oh, it's this guy. Oh, I remember this guy. Ooh, ooh, don't. Hi, hi. Ooh. He's spicy. Ah, shit. Alright. Mm, he spits hot fire. Shit, shit, shit. Ooh. Oh, got him. Why is it a fire guy as the boss of the ice world? Seems a bit ironic, if you ask me. Hold on, we're gonna load the suspend point. And then, I'm gonna create another suspend point here. Ah, shit. Unload it again. Maybe I should've not done this with such low health. Eh. Can't cry over less health. Shit, shit, shit! Ah, damn. Come on now. Come on! Ah, shit. Come on now. Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 Ah, shit. Wait, did I kill him? Ah, oh, it doesn't count because I... Or does it count? Well, I'll just load a suspend point with the... Whoops, I meant to create a suspend point. Oops. Whoop. Get him. Ah, oh, damn. Watch out, watch out. Ah, oh, shit. This is very hard. I'm making it a lot more challenging for myself. Fuck. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Watch out, watch out. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah. I cannot take out this spicy boy. Please. Please. Go down. Go down. Oh, oh, right. It loops. Keep forgetting, even like, you can see him do it a little bit. Fuck, fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, that makes dodging all this a lot easier. Fuck. Ah, damn it, I died though. Whew. Alright. Who would win a fight? Uh, pr prince, princess of the monarchy, you're one spicy boy. <laughs> I'm not funny. Don't, d d don't look at me! Come on, come on. Let me, let me grab it. <laughs> Mushroom? Nope. Just gonna, just gonna be a little safe here, you know? Hedge my bets a little bit. Nice, nice. Shit, shit, shit. Ooh, ooh. Oh, come on, come on. You know, there are some retro gamers out there who uh, love to see this. A modern gamer going back to the games of their youth and being shown up for how difficult they might be. But you know what? Heck, those guys, that's gatekeeping. I ain't a fan of that. Vi video games is for anybody who wants to play video games. I don't care, you playing Words with Friends? You playing some Picross on your phone? You gaming. And I appreciate it. I appreciate people sharing in this, this fun hobby of ours. I appreciate people, whether they, whether they recognize genius in design, or whether they just like to, they just like to, they just like to float around a little bit, do a little float, do a little float through a little block. Hey, 
whatever whatever makes you happy, you know? Games, games are meant to be played, games are meant to be enjoyed. As the Brothers Murph would say, a good game is a, uh, a game that gets played. Shit. Ooh, it's hard. It's very hard. Alright, that's two. Got him for three! Shit. Shit. Ooh, watch out! It's fine, it's fine. I can work with it. Shit, shit. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, there's just. I can't get to the blocks. I can't get to the blocks. Ooh, I can get to these blocks though. I can't. Can I not drop it? That's one. Shit! Alright. Yeah, no, you definitely don't have to be good at your hobby. Like, uh, uh, the whole point of a hobby is in the actual enjoyment of doing it, so no matter how bad you are at it, if you're enjoying your time, that's that's all it is. It's just an enjoyable, time-killing thing. Um, if it's your profession, then you should hopefully be good at it, but even then, I would say, like, a lot of, a lot of like, work and stuff... It, it's, it's marketing, you know? If you can convince people you're good at it, that's the same as being good at it. Like, I suck at games, but you know what? I'm enjoying myself playing this game while uh, streaming it out to you guys, so... That is... That is more than enough for me. Eh, eh, nope. Get down. Nope! Ah, shit. Whew. <laughs> My thing is always, um, I see a lot of people who, who do things as a hobby and want to do it professionally, but then still treat it as a hobby. And I, 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 To be clear, to be transparent, I am speaking specifically about the, the voice acting community, where there's a lot of people in voice acting who they definitely want to do it for money. They want to do it professionally, but they're still treating it like a hobby. They're still treating it like something that they only have to put a half measure into, and it's like, no, you, if you want to do this, you certainly can, but it's, you gotta, you gotta put your all into it, you gotta put the money into it, you gotta put the time and effort into learning it, like, you gotta, you gotta be good, right? There's a lot of competition, and a lot of that competition is real friggin' good at it, so... If you're not giving it 100%, you're probably not going to be able to do what you want to do with it. Shit. Shit. Oh, God. <sighs> I was so close. There is also the option of being entertainingly bad. That's, uh, that's what I understand PewDiePie is about. Um, I mean, I guess somebody's entertained by him. Uh, well, th th the thing, too, is with, like, Let's Players and streamers who aren't necessarily good at the game they're doing... Uh, my, my theory has always been this, is that it Let's Plays and streaming, uh, commentating over games while you play them, to, to, be, uh, to put it all into a single category, it's, it's a combination of performance, so how entertaining you yourself are being, and uh, skill at the actual game. So I would say that if you are at least really good at one, then people will be willing to watch it. You know, you can be really, really good at games and not that entertaining. Um, and you'll still be able to do okay. Uh, like, I, I always say look at, like, the SGDQ, AGDQ, the, the games done quick. They always have the dude who's playing the game and focusing and being really good at it. And the guy who's cracking jokes and, like, actually entertaining the audience. So, that works best when you got somebody actually funny on the couch and you got someone who's really good at the game playing the game. <sighs> yeah, one, I, I also really dislike PewDiePie. He's a pretty garbage person. Blind Punch-Out is super radical. I don't know how people do that. I can't even imagine playing any game blind, let alone one that's as reaction-heavy as that one. But, um, yeah, I, I will also, 
say specifically. I find PewDiePie pretty abhorrent. He's a bad person. And he he got lucky in getting a huge fan base, but uh, eh, he's he's not good at games, and he's uh, a shitty dude, and he's really never been that funny. So I don't I don't really care for him. But it's Blind Punch Out. I I would say if you don't know that much about that whole like shit. Uh, yeah, you'd have to use audio cues on that. Um, if you're interested in that, go watch Summoning Salt's videos on it, because he does Blind Punch Out. And a lot of his videos are just going through the, um, are going through the, the, uh, the, the different histories of how different speedruns evolved. And that one's great, because it comes up to when he's been doing them. And, um... Another good one is Chaco Mountain from Super Mario 64. It talks about the weather tanko and how that got developed. Which, like, in another life where I had a billion hours to only focus on it, I would probably be, like, a racing game speedrunner. Because I love racing games. And I, I've i gotten pretty close to some of the world records in Mario Kart 8. Um, never quite beaten them, but I've gotten close. And I've, I, it's super fun. I don't know. I, j I just like driving in general. Whether it's a it's an actual car or a digital car. Uh yeah, Summoning Salts is a great channel for anybody into speedruns, cause he just he just very cleanly breaks down how things went about. Um some other channels I'd recommend. Shit. <laughs> some uh some other channels I'd recommend. I don't remember the name of it. Uh but there's one uh, there was one that was like a speedrun channel that's specifically like minimum A press runs. It's you probably saw it as a meme. Is the half A press video? I, I love that shit. And there was also one. It's a little new. He only has like three videos so far, but it's a, a guy who just analyzes the graphics from shit from GameCube games. And um. He, he analyzes the graphics from GameCube games, and he, like, goes into the code and stuff. And he's got two videos. One is about how they worked the cell shading in in Wind Waker. And another is about how they did the water graphics in Mario Galaxy. And it's fascinating stuff. He breaks it down in a really easy-to-understand way of just how, how you, like... Uh, just adjust the opacity, use, like, a specific displacement map, um, to, like, get, get it to, like, w woogle around in the way that it, water does. It's real fascinating, real easy to understand. I wish he'd put out more. I understand why he doesn't. It seems like it's a lot of work. Oh, yeah! Game Champ 3000 is also good. You've probably seen some of his videos or, like, been recommended them. Um, he's the guy who does the, can you beat... Uh, such and such game only using the like default weapon or can you beat this Mario game uh, without jumping and Like those are just fun. He's he's a bit corny, you know, he he he's definitely like uh, got that like hello I'm game champ. Oh, I'm do I'm gonna be a, a Radio announcer. Hey, how's it going? Like he's he's really a, a Real cheesy god damn it. Oh, I slipped a little um, he's he's a real kind of cheesy guy with his voiceover delivery and stuff, but like the stuff he does and the way that he presents it, super fun. You know, it's kind of silly, but it's, it's 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 silly stuff's fun sometimes. All right, we don't always gotta enjoy serious academic content. I know, I know, I always speak in a way that's kind of like, oh, we must be intellectual and we must think deeply of things, but it's like, eh. I'm not so far up my own ass that I can't recognize that, like, silly shit, corny shit, mainstream shit can't be fun. Um. What was the other guy? There was another guy. Hmm. No, I don't remember. I, I, I think there was, like, another channel that I wanted to recommend, but I can't think of it at the moment. Yeah, getting into non-silly things, it can be tricky. Um, I find it kind of satisfying. Fuck! Ah. 
when you do, I think it's when you double tap a little too fast, it just locks you into that height for the the drift. So I gotta be careful to have distinct. Fuck, there it was. Yep. Oh, ah, you gotta have distinctive presses. Um, I would say to get into more academic content, some of the better people to watch would be, uh, would be Lindsay Ellis because she, she keeps it kind of funny. Uh, folding ideas, especially his stuff, it's it's a little you know kind of sardonic and dry. But he does a lot of stuff about games and movies, and he he does it in a way that's really entertaining. Um, you'd probably know him uh, for his fuck, the art of editing and Suicide Squad video that was going around back in like 2017. Um, that was like one of his bigger hits that happened. But it's, it's stuff like that, you know. He just breaks it down in a fun way, and he explains. Um, really deep film theory concepts in ways that even the the layperson can understand similar to the guy with the uh, the graphics um yeah I, I would highly recommend both of those creators uh ooh. oh there it is finally I haven't gotten one of these in quite a bit I'm actually going to create a suspend point from here Yeah, I like folding ideas a lot. Um, his earlier stuff is kind of rough. I've tried working through it, but it's like a production value is not super solid, so it's a little, a little tricky to uh to deal with just um from that side. And and ah, damn it! I don't know how I was supposed to get those anyways. Well, I'll just get these coins. Three three hearts is plenty for me. Uh, ooh. oh, 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 shit. Oh, I gotta use the block for this one. Okay. Yeah, Lindsay Ellis. Uh, I, I know Andrew, um, who's usually on here. He's, he was planning on being on here, but he's having some weird technical glitch that's making it so he can't open Discord. Fuck. Um, he recommends Maggie May Fish. But I, I'd recommend um, anybody who uh, worked for Cracked or a lot of different Cracked stuff. Because uh, uh, Cracked made some amazing... Hold on, let me see if I can figure this out. Cracked made some amazing videos. Uh, pop culture... Obsessive pop culture disorder... Or order. OPCD. It's really fun. Um, After Hours is really good. Yeah, I, 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 I like video essays in general, you know, there's a lot of, there are a lot of people who have really interesting ideas, and I'm glad that they can express them. Yes, yes, one, you as well. Thou art also Andrewed. Um, another channel that I'd recommend, not, just one that we watch a lot, who, the hit or miss, uh, some of his stuff's, he can sometimes make kind of ignorant jokes, but he's pretty fun. He does like movie reviews and things. Is um, uh, Mister GG, M I S T A H G G. Um, yeah, he he's really fun. Uh, he made his bread and butter doing these like review kind of breakdown riffs on uh the to catch predator series. So like he was a big part of the TCAP community and stuff, and then there was some drama with that. So. Yeah, well, the reason OPCD hasn't so much continued is because Daniel O'Brien is writing for uh, Last Week Tonight um, with John Oliver. Oh, there is no H in Mr. GG. Apologies, you can see in the chat there. Also, let me know, can you guys read the chat on screen super well? Because, like, I've resized in stuff, but I've noticed that it is still a little pixely and kind of hard to read. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, his uh, his T cap series had to get moved over because of drama with uh, the guy who was helping Chris Hansen make a new to catch a predator style thing. Uh, you can see what that's all about on Mr. GG's channels. So definitely definitely recommend both. Um, 
he he is a little basic from time to time, but you know what? Everybody's a little basic from time to time. It's, it's not like you have to have the deepest taste to to be a fun person to watch, you know? Shit. Anything? Anything? Nope. Yeah, that's true. I definitely recommend watching Last Week Tonight. It's, uh, it's not always the best, you know? Some of the jokes are pretty corny because it is still network television and such. Or no, it's not network, it's HBO, so they are able to do stuff. And they've been continuing it during the, uh, during the whole, uh, lock-in situation that we're stuck in. Whoa. Thunder in the distance. We might have a thunderstorm going off in a minute. The thunderstorms here get real bad. Hard to read. Okay. I, yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust that some more. I think the pixely, uh, the pixely kind of works with the aesthetic, but I still want it to be legible enough for people to be able to understand what people are typing if they're not necessarily reading the chat themselves. Whoops. Um... So I'll probably adjust that a little on the break. It's just, it's, oh, it's a pain. Oh, shit. I hit the, I hit the jump button too fast. Oh, boy. Um, ooh, uh, well, I have the thing. Whoop. Let's see, there is the, whoa. Okay, there is the potion in here, so I'm gonna actually use that this time rather than just letting it dissipate. Why'd I do that? Well, hopefully I'll get a mushroom from here, so. Let's find out. It was on the right, I think? Yes. Okay, let's get out of here with this. And then throw it here. Mushroom, mushroom. Yes! Uh, let me get a couple coins before I go down. Whoa, don't fall down! Oh, totally. Last week tonight has gotten plenty of little clips and stuff. And it, it, it is important stuff that they go over. I know it can be uh, pretty disheartening, especially in recent times. Like, things are real dire. But, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that, like everything is truly falling apart. Like, it's it's not great, but we can muddle through it as a people. I, I believe in us. I believe in us as a species. The, the humankind has existed for far longer than it really should have. No reason it shouldn't exist longer. Whoops. Whoa. Okay. This level is still tricky, but it's not quite as bad as the ice levels were, so... Whoop, come on. Come on. Oh boy, Sniffits. Whoop, whoop, oh, shit! Ah, the climbing is a little frustrating with an analog stick. Hold on, can I... Okay, I'm gonna switch to D-pad for that. Oh, jeez, the rumbles! Can you hear them? The rumbles are in the distance. Whoop! Hey! That was pretty, pretty, pretty good. I mean, yeah, things are not going very good, but uh, you gotta keep some kind of spirits up, you know? If we're gonna survive at all, we gotta at least have some amount of optimism. Whoa, shit, that whole segment was bananas. Um, and oh yeah, some more news, uh, which was originally, uh, well, it was originally some more news, and now it's even more news? No? It was... Wait. Uh... I don't remember what it was originally on Cracked. But it's basically just kind of a parody of news shows while also actually being news. It's a lot of cool breakdowns. Um, I'd recommend maybe starting with the Ben Shapiro episode. It's, it's a bit long, but it's uh, pretty comprehensive of what they're all about, and it shows... Fuck... What was my last... Ah, oh, fuck. My last suspend point was a while ago. Well, shoot. 
some news originally. Now it's some more news. Check that out. Um, yeah, there's a lot of very interesting stuff on there. If you look it up, just uh, there's a playlist that has the original videos combined with the newer ones. Uh, before I continue here, I am going to take a quick break, so don't touch the internet dial. I'll be RB. Hey, hey, ho, hey, what's happening? I have returned. All right, let's keep this going. I think I can beat this in the next hour or so. We'll find out for certain. Whoops, meant to grab it. Nope. Well, that's not a good start. All right, well, that's not too bad. All right. for it. I'm just going to focus on the platforming here. Uh, who else should I point out? Oh, you know what's really interesting, and this is a very specific interest of mine, but uh, Brentel Floss, who a lot of people know is the guy who adds lyrics to video game music. It's a lot of silliness and stuff. Um, he set up a new or rather he didn't set up a new he brought back an old series which i just rewatched again for like the millionth time because i love it uh lyrics 101 i'd say watch the original ones there's like four episodes one of them's like a half episode uh and yeah he just put out a new episode of it for the first time in like a decade or like half a decade which is is wild and I'm super excited for, so I hope he does it more regularly. He's uh, He's been trying to do more content as things have gone on. Uh, so I would definitely say check out his stuff. Um, I, I, I highly recommend that. Even if you're not necessarily interested in lyrics, 
uh, if you're interested in music, it can teach you things about music you might not have known, which will make it so that you could appreciate the music a little better. Speaking of which, again, uh, Yale, like the, the, the college Yale, has actually a YouTube channel where they post... They, they post some of their courses. They're all introduction level courses, but they have one about uh, music appreciation. And the idea is that it teaches you uh, not necessarily how to make music, but how to understand musical structure and stuff. So it like, teaches you the very basics of like, okay, this is how A, B section works. This is what verses, chorus, all that stuff. It's, um, it's real interesting if you're interested in music at all. Like, it's a good way to get started learning whatever bits and bobs about music you can. Um, and then Lyrics 101 goes a little more into the lyrics site. Shit! Hold on, can will the bomb be back if I hop out and come back in? Yes! Okay, whew. That could have been bad. Would have been quite bad. Um, hmm, what else? Sequelitis. Always a classic. I rewatch that pretty often. That's a... Uh, it's a lot of people have seen that as well. The whole... The uh, Mega Man X video. Um, but it's it's just like animated like game analysis video essays. They're really, really funny. And they're just really well put. Uh, then Barry Kramer basically carried the torch of that with How About This Game, which is very similar to Sequelitis. So if you liked Sequelitis and you want more of it, check out How About This Game. There's one about Super Mario Galaxy, a game I will be playing this upcoming week when the 3D All-Stars comes out. Oh, shit. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Um... And he also has one about Death Stranding. Uh, he has one about specifically Immersion. One about the sky in Death Stranding. Or not Death Stranding, uh, Skyward Sword. A game that he admits is not very good, but the sky design, he says, is something that they could have very easily fixed and is emblematic of why it's not so good. And he's very funny about it. He's a humorous fella. He does a lot of streaming. Um, I think it's, it might be at Barry Kramer, or he might be Razadoop on that. Um, I don't remember, but you could check out his stream sometimes. He has a lot of, a lot of good clips of that on YouTube. Check out, it's Barry Was Streaming is his stream stuff. Now, I got really lucky with this last time, so I'm going to create another suspend point in case I mess this up this time. Because I didn't have too much trouble before. But, whoa, you never know. Shit! Yep, just like that. That's all it takes. The Ocarina of Time sequel I just wasn't very good. Really one. Uh, what's your what's your reasoning behind that? Do you, is it that you disagree with the points or what's up? Shit. Oh, come on, come on. Ooh, nah, damn it. This makes me think of a uh, uh, Septuple V. That one game that's supposed to look kind of like a Commodore 64 game. There's a there's a, a part of it that oh, you gotta drop through like this. Whoo. Okay. Whew. That was hard. That was that was very hard. Shit, shit, shit! Ah, oh, damn it! I should have set up a suspend point after I uh, got to there. Oops. Well, actually, I think I'll go through there and then die so that I can, uh, so that I can. Uh, I'll have one less life, but I can get that back with the coins. And shit, shit. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Hoo, hoo. And, um, I'd rather face Birdo as Large Peach. I, yeah, I can understand that. Part of it is, like, 
the fact that he had less skill. And I would honestly, I do disagree with him on some points. Um, I disagree with him on saying that the original Legend of Zelda uh, worked better than um, Link to the Past, because I, I find the original Zelda incredibly obtuse in its design. And that was more of a limitation of the form. They were more interested in making a large game than making necessarily a game that was easy to access. And so if you have a billion hours to like figure out what you where you got to go and stuff, like yeah, that game's fun, I guess, but I I f usually get to like the first dungeon and then I'm like, well, where the hell do I go after this? And I know the answer is wherever you want, but it's like when wherever I want is not does not have that many interesting things happening in it. It's not that interesting. Which is why I feel like Breath of the Wild is the kind of game they were trying to make, is a game where there is a lot to do, no matter where you go in the game. Um, but that doesn't feel like the game that they ended up making with that. Uh, Ocarina of Time, I will agree with him on some of those aspects. The thing is, though, the thing is, and I've, I've annoyed my roommate reiterating a lot of his points, because I do agree with them, but... I still like Ocarina of Time. Like, I'm still gonna play it on this channel and probably have a fun time with it. Um, let me line up a little better there. But I will recognize that it's like, interesting. And I think, honestly, the thing that Sequelitis was missing, and wh why I think it doesn't quite work, is that he recognizes, he, he points out it's like, a lot of people love Ocarina of Time. And a lot of people and yet there are a lot of design problems. But he, he doesn't go the step further. The step further being, if it's so bad, if it's so flawed in design, why does it still resonate with people? And I want to make a video uh, delving into that. Like, why, why is Ocarina of Time such a beloved game despite all of its flaws? Is it, and is it despite all of its flaws, or is it even because all of its flaws? I feel like that's something that deserves exploring and not just being shoved off as like, oh, you guys just don't know what you're talking about. It's like, that's, yeah, I feel, I feel like that's a, a that's, that's not really a great conclusion for an analysis like that. Like, you can find, you can find whatever conclusion you want out of a game and out of a game analysis. Like, you can point out, like, yeah, oh, it's, it's all this and that, but it's like, it it doesn't matter if people still enjoy it, because that's... So the, the question is, why is it that people never pointed that stuff out? Why is it that it still got crazy praise? That's something I think in, involves some, some delving. It's similar, I think, um, there was it, uh, uh, an article from Business Insider that went mildly viral uh, around the time that New Horizons came out. Ocarina, uh, uh, not Ocarina of Time. Animal Crossing New Horizons came out. There was a an article from Business Insider that was like, let's admit it. New Horizons is a dumb, boring game for children. And it's like, well, okay. And then the whole thing was just basically them explaining like, I think these are design flaws and I didn't like it. It's like, well... Um, and it's like, what, what, you liked it, you didn't like it, okay, but what does that tell me about it? If we're looking at it from a business angle, being a business, uh, a business paper, why is it that it matters if you like it? If it's resonating, what you should be analyzing is not whether or not it's a good game, what you should be analyzing is why even as what you consider a bad game, why is it selling so well? Why is this product working even though, by your account, it's not actually an effective product? I would say it's a very effective product because it it, it works. People love it. Um, so, again, and yeah, as you said, I, I don't think it's necessarily perspective. I have heard people, damn it! Ah, I should have gone down first. Um, I have heard a lot of people, like, criticize the that sequelitis and be like, oh, he doesn't look at it from other perspectives, and it's like, kind of, but I don't think that's really what it is. It's not so much that he ignores other people's perspectives, because he's not necessarily wrong, 
It's just that he he kind of missed like why it is the way it is. It's tr got the reputation it does, and maybe that is a, a matter of perspective. I don't know. I'm going I'm going off the cuff right now. I'm not. I'm 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 trying to get these bombs to do something for me. Stop! Stop exploding so fast! Please, please step on the step on the blocks. Eh. Come on, you bastard, man! Ba bomb! Are they ba bombs? They got like fleshy hands. I don't like that. There we go. There we go, buddy. Here? Nope. Well, I'll get some coins. Ooh, more thunder. Things are getting closer. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's also a disservice that at the end of that, he he's like, oh, type your opinion too. But it's like, uh, I don't think you're actually interested in anyone else's opinion on it, dude. Yeah, well, he looks at it from the quote-unquote objective side, which, th this is something that happens. And he's not as big an asshole about it as some people, but there's a lot of people who have this weird idea that there's a way to, to, to analyze and criticize things in an objective manner, and that your opinion, in a way that your opinion does not come into it at all. And I don't, that's not really possible, because we are human beings, we're fallible, and no matter what, no matter how um, straightforward straightforward objective we think we're being there's always going to be some amount of biases there's always going to be some amount of uh, our opinions injected into it so it's important to recognize that and it's important to factor that into your analysis to make sure that you're not like poisoning the well with the way that you talk about things so uh, it's also the reason why I don't really care for terms like good and bad because those do a major disservice to criticism. Because when you say something's good or bad, that's not really saying much. There's so many better words you could use, a, a much larger critical vocabulary you could be using to describe things where that doesn't necessarily say anything about the, the quality of the piece, but says more about what specifically works and what doesn't, which I feel is a lot more important than like whether or not you like something. Like my my thing is, rather than saying good or bad, the thing I was trying to say is how effective is it? What is it that I feel that the creators were trying to do with it? And how well did it fulfill that role? So like something like The Room, Right? It's like, it's a big cult success, but I would say it's still a failure because what he wanted to do was create something that resonated with people on a romantic emotional level, and it didn't. People find it really laughable and dumb, so I feel that it's still a failure no matter how much people technically enjoy it. Shit! Shit! Oh god! Ah, uh, no! <sighs> Picked the wrong time to sip. Yeah, there's this one guy on YouTube you might have run into called Mahler, and his idea of criticism, it's, it's the worst. It's, it is, tw it'll be like literally 12 hours, like seven parts that are each like full feature length films, just describing what happens in a movie, and every like half hour, he'll inject his own little opinion of whether or not it's good or bad. And, yeah, it's basically that. It's like, just what happens in a thing. It's like, well, that doesn't tell you anything. Because w when you look for a review, you're not necessarily looking for whether or not the thing is good. What you're looking for is, is this something that this person enjoyed? And do I agree with this person? Is their opinion something that I value because it's one that I also share? That's why it's important to find reviewers and people that say... Uh, like, they, they have similar opinions to you. They have similar tastes. Because you can find reviews from all sorts of people. There's this friggin' idiot, Armin White, who does reviews all the time. And all, his stuff is literally just like, 
This one had too many women in it. I hate it. It's like, it's stupid shit like that. Like, the most useless reviews ever. And that's the thing, is that there are probably people for who those reviews will resonate more than anything. I don't like those people, but if that's the guy that's saying the stuff they need to hear about a movie, then all right. I, just in general, you know, that's one thing I greatly appreciate about Folding Ideas is that uh, he breaks down, um, he breaks down specifically why things don't work and what could have been done to make them work um, on like an academic or technical level. Like a lot of his stuff is on the very technical side because he did go to a technical film school. Uh, one video I'd highly recommend, it's it's only like 15 minutes, but uh, he and Lindsay Ellis uh, who made a video called Should You Go to Film School? And it's basically them just recounting their experiences with film school and why you should or should not go. And it's very, very interesting, very entertaining. What am I, am I supposed to actually be able to grab these rocks from him? Oh my god, really? Woof, this is gonna be hard. Stop it. Stop scuttling. Got it. Well, this guy's not that hard, actually. The uh, the actual grabbing of the item is not too hard. Come on. Come on. Throw, throw me one. Throw me a rook. Yeah, I would say the, the, the rat guy is a lot harder than this man. Whoop. Boom. Got him. Oh, come on. One more. All right, let's get one more. Ooh, oh, I guess that didn't hit me. Okay. I did it! Yeah, I I would say with Sequelitis, it's like he's trying to be objective by just looking at the, the actual specific mechanics, and that's important. But it's not quite as important as looking at how they work on a human level. Because you can't, like... How something works is only as important as how it works for the people who are meant to consume it. Oh, sweet. I got three coins. Nice. More gambling. Um, like, you, you can't discount the player when it comes to something like games. The thing that makes games so unique as a medium is the interaction of the player and, like, what the player is doing in relation to it. So, trying to analyze something and ignoring the way that players react to it is just... It's asinine. It, it completely defeats the the purpose of the medium. And it, it feels like something that I, I think uh, Aaron would disapprove of if he, he saw it more objectively. Um, I don't know. I don't know if he'd even necessarily agree with Sequelitis in this day and age. Like, he, it's been years since he made them, so I feel like his opinions on those things might have changed a bit. Um, maybe part of it is that he, like, you can tell he has very specific fondness for the NES Zelda games, and even SNES he doesn't have as much of a fondness for, so it becomes, it, it kind of poisons his whole thing. Uh, so, yeah, just, I, I'd say take that stuff with a grain of salt, but it's definitely still interesting to watch because he does go into, on a mechanical level, what things do and do not work. Um, and that's still fascinating, but his opinions, I don't know, like, he, he, like, like the fact that he points out, it's like, uh, when you, when they made... Um, what is it? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Link to the Past. Link to the Past changed things, and it did make it more, as he pointed out, like, kind of like a Disneyland ride, more like a, a theme park attraction where you're being more led on a specific linear path. But I would say that's actually its biggest benefit. I would say that that's where it really shines, because it gives you direction, something that the original game was seriously lacking in. And while, yeah, if you were playing it as, like, a kid with, like, a walkthrough or something, it's, uh, it, 
you would definitely be able to do that shit. But like, even Ocarina of Time, like I, me and my like siblings would not have been able to beat that shit without a walkthrough we had in like PC Gamer or something. Like, it's it's just kind of an obtuse game while also being super railroading. Um, I understand what they're doing with the combat system. Like, they're trying to make it more like the traditional theater-style uh, Samurai Showdown um, kind of kind of combat, but it, it it is very sluggish and uh, a little a little annoying if you don't have the time to deal with something like that. As he says, it's all the goddamn waiting, and it's like, yeah, I, I find myself as I get older having very little patience for that stuff, but does that mean that it's necessarily bad or good? I don't know. I, I think the thing that frustrates me is that nobody has made a great response to that sequelitis. Like, there are people who have tried. Um, there was one guy who, who made a response and basically just went point by point and said whether or not he agreed with it, and that's... That w that was a bad way to d handle it, t to be honest, because like that doesn't tell me anything, whether or not you agree with what he said. Because half of the things he said was just like, well, I didn't feel like I w it was a ton of waiting. I didn't have a problem with that, and it's like th that doesn't help me. I don't get I don't get anything from knowing whether or not you, as a child, had the patience to deal with the waiting. That doesn't discount that. Forcing people to wait is not a very strong design decision. But, like, is it because of immaturity or is it because it resonates in other ways? <sighs> Who knows? I, I feel like the thing is, it's. He looks at it as if it's supposed to be combat focused or have a specific focus, like what he wants it to, but I think that's not necessarily what they were going for. And, mm, yeah, I don't know, a lot of the games on N64 were kind of clunky because they were they were working with brand new technology, stuff that they had never been able to do before. So, was it good or not? I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna do that, that response video someday. I, I, will, I will say that, I will respond to this man, this sequel to itis. But that is that is a tale for another day. I'm already working on two two pretty in-depth videos and a whole other season of a show I already did. I got a lot on my plate. Streaming. Streaming as well. So much so much stream. Hey, what are you doing today? I'm just streaming some more. God damn it. I don't like this 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 section. It's annoying. I just want to get to. I, I I just want to know where the fucking Phantos are. I know what they need me to do, but having to search through each one is annoying, dude. I just want to do it. Oh great! I've released these mans. Which one are they in? Just let me fucking do it. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they clearly put some thought into the combat, but if I think what what Aaron Hansen was expecting was there to be uh, more uniqueness to the combat, you know? Because I, I would say, like, you look at the combat in uh, the early Zeldas, and it's not really that in-depth. It's it's pretty bare bones. Like, you just, you just slash at stuff. Uh... Is that bad? No, not necessarily. But it's like, if, if he's gonna talk about in-depth combat and stuff and give Ocarina of Time for shit for it, when he's saying that, oh, but the Dark Nuts in, in Link to the Past were better, it's like, well, no they weren't, because you just, they took more hits, but you were just slapping at them, for the most part. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, I, I think the main thing is just that he found the combat more tedious in that game. And that is that is certainly understandable. It, it is fairly tedious, shit. But, like, 
the combat and the other stuff is pretty, like, simple and mindless, if anything. So, I don't know. I don't know if you can really compare those on the same scale. Um, I, I remember, what was it? There was, like, one person... It, it was a video where they they specifically analyzed, like, how does the sword feel in every Zelda game? Like, how does it feel to just slash shit? Right? Or it might have been, like, a full analysis of, like, all the Zeldas. I don't remember. Was that Matthew Matosis? That might have been Matthew Matosis. But, uh, I remember one thing he pointed out is something that totally went by the wayside, which is that Twilight Princess is the only game in the Zelda franchise where you can, or, well, okay, this was prior to Breath of the Wild, you could do this in Breath of the Wild as well, but it was, it was the first game where you didn't stop whenever you wanted to slash something, so you could run and smash through grass at the same time, and it's just so satisfying. And it's like, yeah, why did they, why'd they stop doing that? Um, I don't know. It's, it's odd to me. I will say, uh, Twilight Princess, I think, is probably the ugliest Zelda. Majora's Mask is a close second, but it's specifically, the animations look like garbage. Holy crap. Um, the thing that got me is watching footage of it and seeing Epona run. I assume it's Epona, the horse. Uh, the horse in that game. Seeing her run, she looks like her back is broken. And uh, this isn't something that you'd really get if you hadn't, like, probably had a lot of experience with horses in general. But her spine does not move. It Instead of her spine bending to go with her legs, she, her, her spine stays stiff as a board and just kind of seesaws back and forth. And it looks horrible. All of the character designs look so dim and gross. Yeah, Majora's Mask was not gonna... Well, they leaned into it with Majora's Mask as well by making it a... It, it was a game where it was supposed to be kind of unsettling and creepy, so it be looking eh, maybe not so good wasn't the worst thing because that's kind of what it was going for. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Majora's Mask, personally, but uh, it's not because it's bad, necessarily, you know? I, again, I don't like... I don't like using the term bad so much, but, um, my, my problem with Majora's Mask is that it's just not to my tastes. I, I can't, I'm, I'm a, oh, what is it, uh, a maximizer is what it's called, where I, I want to have the most options I possibly can in a game, and so a game like that where I know I'm missing out on stuff, even if I can rewind time and go back and do it again, it's like... It, it just fills me with such anxiety, and I, I just can't enjoy games like that. Shit! Hmm. Yeah, Twilight Princess is like the super, super edgelord Zelda. And also, yeah, Groose Redemption 2020! Give us more Groose! Groose in Breath of the Wild! I don't think that works out. I don't care. Drop him in. I won't complain. If anybody's got a problem with Groose and Breath of the Wild, it doesn't matter if there's logic to it. It's a good guy. It's a good guy. Fun guy. Fun guy. I was put, just put him in Breath of the Wild. Just put him in there. Just drop him in. Nobody will say anything. They will say stuff. But they'll mostly say happy things because it's more Groose. That's true. Why can't Groose be the fourth part of the Triforce? The middle part that doesn't actually have a Triforce in it. Shit! The, the Triforce of... He's here too. Hmm. I'm curious if they do like an All-Stars thing for The Legend of Zelda. They might be too big for that. But, I mean, they already have most of the uh, Zelda games, like, remade in one way or another, so they just have to port them into one system. Hmm. 
I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not super stoked on, I'm, I'm gonna play Skyward Sword at some point, but I'm not super stoked to do it with the uh, original Wii hardware, because everything I've seen is that it's a pain. Do, 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 do. Whoa, oh, shit! Ah, oh, damn it, again. Hmm. Yeah, it, uh, Twilight Princess, I'm pretty sure, was mostly a response to the fact that people were real upset about Wind Waker. Because, like, it, we've all grown to enjoy... Ah, Tingle is the middle Triforce. Of course, of course. Ooh. I wonder if he'll show up in Breath of the Wild, too. Um, but, yeah, I... It, it was, like... We've all grown to enjoy Wind Waker now, but it's like back in the day, people were f fucking pissed that uh, they didn't get their edgy Zelda for the GameCube. So then Nintendo was just like, oh, oh, you guys want edgy Zelda? You want edgy Zelda? And then they just they slapped so much edge on that. Go and cut yourself. It's very chunky and sharp. Um... So, yeah, it's it's certainly very dark and grim, but is it good? Oh, n nobody ever talks about Twilight Princess, really. True, yeah, the tech demo. The tech demo really fucked with people. Um, I... I don't know. Very few people talk about Twilight Princess except to, like talk about Midna. Like, Midna's the standout character from that, and I do love her. I, 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 I appreciate that she's the, the, like, tutorial character, the helper character, but she's, like, a dick. She's just like, oh, you can't figure it out? Stupid. Um. But, yeah, I don't hear a lot of people really talking about that one all that much. Outside of to mention, like, oh, Midna was there. I'm like, oh, yeah, Midna was there. Hmm. That's why when I saw that uh, that horse animation, I was like, God, it's looked this bad this whole time and nobody told me. Because I didn't, I didn't really have a GameCube as much. My uh, brothers had a GameCube, but they kind of only had Luigi's Mansion and Mario Sunshine. Didn't have any of the Twilight Princess business. So, yeah, I skipped that in the Wii generation, basically. Which, GameCube had a lot of good stuff. Wii, Wii felt very tired. Everything I've seen is that the games, a lot of the uh, mainline games on that, it, it, the different generations, it's basically NES was when they were, like, figuring stuff out and, like, trying out all this new hardware and being like, what can we do? What can we do with all this? Oh yeah, Agatha is in that. I, I like Agatha. She's cute. Um, but like, it, it was like NES, they're trying to figure stuff out. They're like, okay, what can we do with video games? And it's like groundbreaking stuff. It's like, this is, we haven't seen any games like this. This is nuts. Even like home computers cannot hand do the sort of stuff that they're able to do with the NES. It's super advanced. It's like, cool. And then SNES is like, well, we got all these franchises. Let's let's polish it out. Let's make some awesome, awesome shit. Same same franchises, same characters. But let's just make it the fucking best it can be. You get Super Mario World. You get Star Fox. You get Super Metroid. You get uh, Link to the Past. And then N64, they're like, well, we got new technology again. Let's do some stuff. And they make, you know, Super Mario 64, solid, super solid, um, but still kind of clunky and didn't that's the era of like experimental stuff that was like it was not bad necessarily but I don't think it really holds the test of time the way some of the other stuff does and then so we get those games and it's like weird stuff and experimental stuff then GameCube we get moving into like trying more stuff you know we get a uh, Wind Waker where it's like okay weird super cutesy and weird but uh, different, very different, trying to go experimental and more the, uh, the aesthetic. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, bizarre launch title. Um, Mario Sunshine, like 
very strange Mario game, even to this day. Um, and then with the Wii, things got kind of tired, you know? The, the Skyward Sword wasn't, wasn't great. It was just kind of resting on its laurels. Mario Galaxy is, like, it looks fun, but everything I've, like, heard from Barry Kramer, it's like, they were also kind of, like, sitting on their laurels, and they were just kind of, kind of got the benefit of the doubt, because it looked good. And it does look great. I will, I will not deny that. But it's like, that's, that's when things kind of, kind of fell by the wayside. And now Switch, bam, right back. We're, we're going awesome again. They're, t they're trying everything. This is next-gen Nintendo. Breath of the Wild, super dope. Uh, M Mario Odyssey, awesome. I I'd love to see a new Star Fox game. Metroid Prime 4, I don't know when that's going to happen. Like, they, they kind of set it up, but they haven't really, like, said when they're going to do it. Well, this is awkward. Two, three. There we go. Oh yeah, and then Wii U, everybody, nobody remembered. Well, that's the thing. The, the the thing with the Wii U is that we didn't really get a mainline game of either of the big franchises. Like there wasn't a Zelda that was specific to the Wii U. I guess we got Breath of the Wild, but it it's more of a Switch game. Listen, I mm, I do not believe that it was made for Wii U. I gotta say, like you can you can say it was made for Wii U, but like it. Uh, it feels like it was definitely meant to be for Switch. Like, you even have the Sheikah Slate, which is... It's like a Switch. It, it is a Switch itself. Um, And what Mario game do we get? Super Mario 3D World, which I hear is good. But it's not anything new. Can't get anything? Nope. If I remember correctly... This might be stupid. Yeah, 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 you can do this. Yeah, there's a secret over here. I guess it was the same day release. I don't really... I don't know if I really believe that. Whoa. Whoa, is this a warp? Whoa, shit. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. I think I've already done this. I think I just went back to a. I think I just went back to World 2. It's okay, I have a suspend point from where I was at, so. I'm just gonna explore this for a minute. I guess I. That's the thing is, like, nobody had a Wii. Nobody bought the Wii U. They wanted people to have the Wii U. But nobody had the Wii U. Like, it's it, it was such a failure of a system. And it sucks, because I, I do love the idea. Having, like, the asynchronous, having, having multiplayer with that. Like, some of the games from Nintendo Land look so fun to me. There's, like, a hide-and-seek Animal Crossing game that looks dope. I would love to play. Shit. No, I did it! Hmm. Um. Okay, you had a Wii U. That's the thing, is some people did, but like, the Wii U was just a kind of a mess because they didn't make it very clear what it was like for quite a while people weren't even sure if it was a new console or if it was like just a a peripheral for the Wii so like I uh, yeah it, it was just a mess they forgot that like the the main reason the Wii was such a smash was because it appealed to families so people who never bought video games were buying video games and it, it that was a very important piece of that system success so Ignoring that was eh, not not the best idea, and yeah, it was just it was poor marketing, poor naming. They just they rested on their laurels of having 
th th to be clear, to having a really, really amazing run with the Wii. But they, they just kind of fucked it up with the Wii U. And they've come back, like the Switch. Smash it. And it's the main reason being, it's a handheld. And that's where they've always rested their laurels ever since the Game Boy happened. It's like, nobody makes handhelds like like Nintendo. Even I, as a fan of the PSP and the PS Vita, have to admit it's like, nah, nobody else can do handhelds like Nintendo can. It, it's uh, um, honestly kind of foolish to even try. Because unless you do it real good, and that's the thing is, I don't think Mark Microsoft ever will because they've seen what happened with Sony and they've seen they probably see the big money which is what Sony sees because Sony always just copies Big Brother Nintendo every goddamn time oh, oh yeah the old Wiimotes actually it's the Wii remote for some reason they decided not to ever call it a Wiimote which is feels like a missed opportunity but I, I think that's mainly because the marketing team didn't get the pun in English. Um, but yeah, the, the Sony has always just copied Nintendo with with motion controls, with everything. So, like, they, they keep trying to do handhelds, and they always fail because the, the same reason that Nintendo, I feel, is always on top and always doing better is because they focus on the, the part that matters, the games! Like, fucking Sony and uh, Microsoft always focus on hardware. And it's like, yeah, that can be important, but it, like, it doesn't matter how fucking good the hardware is if the games aren't any good. And if the games aren't unique and the games aren't something you can only get there. Like, why would I get an Xbox when I can play most of those games? God damn it. Most of those games on Switch or on PlayStation. Like, we have an Xbox One, and we don't use it for fucking anything, because all of the games on it that we might want to play that aren't Halo are on everything else. The only fucking franchise that they have that's really any kind of a smash hit is Halo. Yeah, that's the thing, is the Vita is far dead, and I doubt they're ever going to try and make another handheld Sony. If they do, I will look into it, but I don't... Yeah, I don't know. That's the thing is like the Vita is amazing hardware, but what games does it have? Danganronpa? Cool. Ports of like console games? Okay. But like Danganronpa you can find on uh, PS4 now. So like, okay, there's no reason to, to get a Vita for it. Like, there, there was stuff I loved on PSP. PSP is one of my favorite consoles of all time because more than anything, I've always been a handheld gamer. I'd never really had many consoles because I was kind of poor and I moved around a lot. So you, uh, handhelds were usually cheaper and they didn't require a TV. So it's like on those long road trips and stuff, handhelds what I had. Or in those like transitionary periods between houses and stuff, which were very common in my childhood. Come on now, come on now. Come on, troglodyte. Whatever his name is, I forget. Yeah, the Vita was like 700 bucks, which was incredible for a game that had almost no, almost no library to it. World 7-1. All right, we're at the end here. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to die so that I can just save and continue. Come on, kill me, kill me. There we go. Yeah, the Vita was incredibly expensive. And it had a very tiny game library, which is real disappointing. Um, but it's, it was a great console. And you can play most of your PS4 games on Vita in handheld with remote play. You can actually, if you have a PS4 and you don't know this, you can play most of your PS4 games on your computer. You can download for free the remote play app and just set it up on your computer and just play pretty much all of your games remotely by connecting your uh, controller by Bluetooth. It's awesome. Um, I do it here, but I don't think our connection can handle that and streaming, unfortunately. 
Oh, Jesus. All right, what do we got? Oh. Rutabaga. There we go. Fuck's sake, finally got a mushroom. Can I, can I go through that door? No. Alright, gonna create a send spend point there. What time is it? 9.51. Okay, I think I can finish this before I take my next break. Yeah, I'm getting pretty close. Is this a... Hmm. Oh, wait, there's the birds. That's probably what I need to do. Yes! Another! Okay, no more coins. Awesome. Awesome. Four hearts. This is gonna be killer. There we go. I'm on my way, boys and ghouls. Oh, jeez. There's reverse flappy bird. You ride the bird. And it gets you over. And... Woo! Rocket ship. Oh, totally. I mean, well, it, I wouldn't be... I'd be using the remote play app on uh, my MacBook here. I, I tested a little bit with Infamous Second Son because that's definitely a game I'd want to stream. Um, it did not work super great. It, it, it worked okay, but then I had to have it at the lowest setting and it would, like, freeze up every now and then. So, did not work out super well. Uh, the thing is, though, I, like I said, I'm probably going to uh, test out with some rounds of Fall Guys if I can stream from the living room on the PS4, because then that'd be the way to go. I wouldn't have video like I have here or like the backdrop and stuff. It would just be audio and game because I'd be streaming from the PS4 itself. Uh, but if, if I can get that to work, if I can hook my mic up to it, that's the main thing is if the, the mic can hook up to it correctly. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, but I think I can get it to work. Shit. Um. But yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna test that out after this particular stream. Come on. Whoop. There we go. Um. I definitely want to play Infamous Second Son because it's set in Seattle, which is my hometown. Uh, it's a very weird, mutilated Seattle. It's it's just the the completely wrong geography, but can't be perfect. You know, you still get to hang out on the Space Needle and stuff. Shit. Whoop. Whoa. There we go. Man, this level is trippy. Shit! Oh, fuck! Nope, don't want to lose those four hearts. Whoops. Load that again so I don't lose those hearts again. And we'll fly over on my steed. Yeah, that's the main thing is my connection is good enough to stream stream up and also do like uh, an audio call but not really good enough to necessarily stream video and also stream down video and then stream up video i don't know if i i'd be able to do that but we will see oof oh man we're really close to the end here but i do gotta take another break real quick so i'll be right back folks don't touch the internet dial i'll be rb
Hey, 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 hey. Hello. I have returned. And we're going to continue this this here game. Getting right to the end of it here. So, yeah, I'm going to try and get through this without taking more damage than I have to. Whoop. Careful, careful. Ooh, watch out. Watch out for the shied guys. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then I gotta... Come on, I know there's a blue shy guy coming up. I think, yep, he doesn't spawn until you try and go towards him. Did it, dang. Gotta protect myself here. Shit. Ah, oh, damn it, I jumped right back up. Well, that's unfortunate, but I can make my way back. No worries, no worries. Let's get you the hell out of here. Whoop. Well, this ninja here is a pain in my dang posterior, but. I've dealt with worse, so let's, 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 let us deal with it. Don't gotta worry none. That ain't no thing. No, sir. Is he coming back? Come on. Come on, hurry up. Shit. Well... I guess we're just walking. Yep. Fuck! Hoo-hoo-hoo! Ah! Yep. Mmm. Yep. I remember this bullshit. Oh my fucking god. Oh, great. Ah. Uh, fuck. Oh, oh. God, uh, it's it is like pulling teeth. What the fuck? How'd you get down here? Well, I'm just gonna load it back up with all my health. This is no reason doing it half cocked like that, you know. If I'm already losing two hearts and I gotta start it over from the top, but that's how the ninja keeps getting over here. God damn it! This feels like something out of uh. Donkey Kong on Game Boy. Fuck! Oh, so he came... Oh, they chase you, that's right. Um, Donkey Kong on Game Boy. The, the first world in that is just the original arcade game of Donkey Kong, you know. Jump around as Mario and stuff, but then at the end, instead of Pauline getting rescued, you actually continue... Onto other worlds where you get to do more stuff, and it gets, it gets more and more, um, like complicated, and it's shit like this. It's like puzzly stuff, but uh, yeah, the, the the closest, as far as I can tell, is uh the Mario and Donkey Kong games with like the little, little robot Mario's that were on like DS and I think Game Boy. Those are basically those that Donkey Kong game. Um, remade. So, it, yeah, it's, it, it was a lot of very interesting platforming stuff and very puzzly. Uh, I like it a lot, but holy shit, there's like a fucking, one of the levels, one of the later levels is absolutely bananas. And I ain't talking because he's a gorilla man, alright? It's because it's ridiculous. It's like you have to get this key that, um, the, the keys in that, like, when you get them, they time out after a certain amount of time, and it's different by level, but it, it does show, like, it shows a specific number of, like, when it's going to time out. Here's the thing. This one, you would have to throw it onto a conveyor belt and catch it before it timed out after 100 seconds. And the shit you would have to do to catch up to it was out of control. It was fucking ludicrous and it yeah it took me weeks to beat that fucking level and that's like the second to last one before the final boss fight so that game i'll probably play at some point on here because I, I i have a ton of like memories from it 
Holy shit, though. It's so fucking hard. It's so hard, dude. I'm guessing I'm gonna need this. What we got? What do we got? Hey. We got us a green birdo. Alright, that's two already. Two. Whoa. 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 Bam. Got him. Got her, got him. However. Huh. I remember there being a time when the, uh, the eagle or whatever at the end of the stage, uh, comes off and attacks you. Am I misremembering that, or is that still somehow coming up? Alright. Suspend point right there. Final level, boys and goyles. Final level, final boss, coming up. Whoa, shit. Well, let's... Let's already... Fuck. Whew. Damn, y'all talk about... Y'all talk about bullet hells. There's, there's a lot of bullets here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, a conveyor belt? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, this gives me a very, uh, Yoshi story vibe? I don't know why. I guess because of the, uh, the castle. The castle in the end of that game is really fun. I, I'd recommend watching. I played through Yoshi's Story uh, a few times on stream. It's one of those games where you get a few runs and you gotta, like, try and complete as much of it as you can. Shit. It's fine. I'm going. I'm going. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love that game. And I'll probably play more of it at some point. Probably try and 100% it, because honestly, playing it for like three hours, I nearly 100%ed it, I'm pretty sure. There was only so much more I could have done. Um, I played through like three or so turns. I would have to look up a walkthrough, because I've never fully, fully grasped how the uh, levels work in that game. There's like some shit you gotta do to like unlock different levels. I don't know. Whoa. It's all good. It's all copacetic, baby. It's the last world. It's gonna be hard. Whoa. One last Fanto. In this. Shit. Oh, that's just mean. That's just me, especially because you get healed up right here. What the hell? That's just so mean. <sighs> Another suspend point with the three hearts. Is there gonna be any pu- No. Is there gonna be any puzzly bits here? Come on, come on, go up, go up. Well, I didn't expect that. Fuck. Whoa. 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 Uh, I don't think that star is going to help me very much going up here. Nah, it's just a door. It's all good. Fuck. Stop it. Stop this. No, no. I don't want to get hit. Yeah, fuck it. Mm. Okay, I can jump up through those. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, they set it up so you have to do the ducky jump. Fuck. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, the timing. Fuck! Woo! Oh, fuck. 
Whoop, I gotta find the perfect moment. Fuck! It's fine. It's fine. Could have been worse. I almost had it. There we go. Shit. Oh, God, I feel stupid. Another YouTuber I would highly recommend, he's actually my favorite YouTuber by a mile, is uh, Brian David Gilbert, BDG, who makes a series on Polygon called Unraveled. Where he uh, he 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 overanalyzes games, but it's definitely for comedy. Um, one of them is he worked out the timeline of all Zelda media, including like Zelda chess, uh, the CDI games, the uh, the board game, the like choose your own adventure novels. Like he he did the whole thing. Uh, there was another one where he tried to make all of the recipes in Breath of the Wild in one day which was uh, funny, definitely. Uh, he made the perfect Poke Wrap that involves all of the Pokemon. So definitely, Unraveled, super funny. I, I love that. And like, it's only gotten better in Quarantine TBH. Like, the way he's had to uh, create creative around his, uh, his limitations, it has been great. Oh, he did a crab dance video? Shit, I don't watch his, uh, his personal content a ton, but I will definitely have to check that out. Um. Fuck. Damn it. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, he also does some other video, random videos for them. Uh, he did a recent one about, like, trying to figure out why... Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 allowed you to build a skate park with a punji pit. Which was, uh, yeah, a very, very strange inclusion in a skating game. But not an unwelcome one. Hmm, what's up here? Well, shit. Well, shit. Don't I feel stupid? Whoa. Okay, okay. Oh, no, that's not an egg. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, shit. Caught in the air. Nice. Alright, let's go. Let's go through the thing. Yes. Shit, shit. It's fine. Damage boost. Ooh, there we go. Is there gonna be... Oh, okay, I guess not. Oh, oh. Oh, shit, there it is. There it is. That's where he comes off and attacks you. I knew it happened eventually. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I won, too. Dances Moving Series. Okay. I will have to check... I will have to check out some of his non-polygon content. Because I've seen uh, By My Bed. I've seen his jorts video. I've seen uh, Pepcorn. I've seen the one where he and Patrick talk about his shoes. But, uh, yeah, that's it's, it's about it as far as that content. Oh, shit. Here it is. Here it is, last boss. It's Wart, baby. There he is. I got it. No! No, my onion! Wow, I am already blowing it. That's fine, that's fine. I got this. 
I gotta catch. Oh. I gotta, like, hang out? How do I get these? Ah, ah. No. ah, I see. I gotta catch it. Fuck. Ow. Nope. Nope. I'm right down. Let's keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, and go. Give me, give me, give me veggie. I need it for my salad. All oh, right, I gotta wait until I can throw it in his mouth. Yeah. All right, there's one. There's one. Shit, shit, shit. Two. I don't know how many I have to do. He doesn't like eating his veggies. Get your... Vitamins! <sighs> Come on. Come on, you need it. You need the veg. Shit, shit, shit. I'd reset it, but I, 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 I'm very close. I, I can feel it. Yes. Yes, eat. It's got soluble fiber! Oh, oh. Oh, one more, one more, right? Damn it, damn it. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, fuck, I hit a bubble. It's okay, it's okay. This pattern is not too... Oh, damn it. So close that time. Come on, you son of a bitch. You're going down! Eat your vegetables. No! My onion! Ah, I'm just going back. No point in doing it with so few. Come on, you bastard man. Ah, fuck. Don't go for the first onion. Don't go for the first onion, it's a trap. First onion's a- wait a minute. Can I- no, I can't pick those up. Oh, I didn't even spit that time. Whoop, whoop. Alright. Now I gotta wait. Get him! Ah, oh, damn it. I hit a bubble. And we wait. Fuck, I missed. Bell pepper. Vitamin C! I don't actually, I don't appreciate bell peppers very much. I'd take a turn up. I, I'm, I'm more into uh, leafy greens as far as veggies go. Leafy greens, maybe a, a bit of potato. Not so much a sweet potato. I don't care for the flavor very much, personally. Uh, bu -bu -bu. onion. Onion's pretty good for you. Garlic. Garlic's great for you. Great for your immune system. Wait. No. No, no, no. I'm not gonna suspend point, because I think... I think I, 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 I got a good feeling about this one. Come on. Come on. Shit! Nope. Come on, come on, come on. It's close. It's so close. I got this guy. I got him. Fuck. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This music is freaking bopping, dude. I hope that this is on beat with what you guys are hearing. I think the monitor is a little off sync, so I might look like I have no rhythm. Which isn't entirely untrue. I've got a bit of rhythm. It's easier when I've got a metronome. Something to keep track of it with. Yes. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. No. I over. I underestimated. You. Nah. Damn it. Bubbled. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Fuck. Yes. Yes. Eat the pepper. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa! Fuck. Whoa! Bubble, bubble, bubbles. Listen, man, if the only thing that can defeat you is uh, vegetables, why you got a. Uh, why you got three trumpets shooting vegetables right in your damn throne room? Seems like poor foresight to me.
Nice. Nice. That's three, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, damn it. It's okay. I got it. That's four. Pretty sure one more time. Five. No, more. He needs more veg. Look at the man. He's so large. He needs as many vegetables as you can feed him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's... he's he, uh, Honestly, it's a power move. Oh, yeah. You can kill me with the vegetables. But you don't even... Think I care? Think I care? I'll put it right here. It's, it's similar to just, like, a king who just keeps a vial of poison next to his bed. Like, yeah. You want to poison me? Do it, pussy. Uh, do it. You think it's... Whoa, it's come on. Come on. Come on. I'll keep a knife right in my own throat. All you gotta do is pull in the handle. Oh, you're not gonna do it, are you? It's a power move. It's dumb. And it's not gonna work well for him. But... But it is still appreciable as a power move. That pop. Nope, too low. Too low. Whoa! Ah, damn it. Nope, nope. No pepper for me. Onion! No! Gone too soon. This poor summer child. Do onions grow in the summer? Nah, I don't know. I don't garden. I do have a lemon tree. I need to get some wire for, though. It's falling... It's falling pretty, pretty vertical. Or horizontal. Because it's a bit heavy for its own weight now. I lost count. I lost count. I think that's four. Maybe three. I don't know. I don't know! Yes! 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 I got him! I got him! Yes! Nice. I did it. Release the dreams of the people. The, the little angel boys. I don't really get what's happening here. They're clapping. I did it! <laughs> yeah, uh... You can kind of tell which one's my favorite character of the bunch. She just moves the best. Why would you go with anything other than Princess Peach? She just... Floats along nice. I'm sure there's other ones that are better at different times and stuff, but... Yeah, that's the only one I use. Do I need to... Oh, okay, here we go. It's dream time. Dream time. Show me. Show me all of the kids. Come on, I know it's in this outro sequence. Oh, is he just gonna wake up? Come on, come on, show me the cast. I know this is one of the games that did it. Yeah, there's the cast. Here we go. We got Mario. Green Mario. Lady Mario. Mushroom. We got Shy Man. Spittin' Man. L little guy in pajamas. Forko. L spiky guy. Oh, that guy's not, he's not real. A little walking boy. Oh, that guy go up and down a lot. Fish. Pidget. Pidget Kaboot. Panzer. Oh, boy. Latipos from Doctor Who. Bird. Scary. Mm, fireman. Oh, he's going. Tall. Actual bird. Wait, Birdo? Ostro? Wait a minute, those are backwards. Uh, this is wheels. It's camera. Snack. Rat. Spicy boy. Oh, fry guy. I like that too. Actual crab. Three snakes in one trench coat. Trying to get an R rated movie. And a uh, frog. I like that guy. I like frogs. Ah, the end.
Beautiful. Beautiful. Hmm. It is nearly 10.30 here. Save and quit. Alright, uh... I am going to get a little bit of the next game started, but first I gotta grab some water. So I will BRB, folks. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. BRB. By the way, I, I have returned. A uh, small update for anybody who was watching last night. All the glitches with my screen are just gone now. So, I don't know what was up with that. It was only affecting me, thankfully, so it wasn't too big an issue. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what was up with that. Weird. Anyways, we're going to move on to Super Mario, the last levels. I'm just going to do the first... Oh, first world or so for tonight's stream, and then I'm going to call it night. Mario game, baby. Now, by my understanding, this one is too hot for America. It's, it's, it's supposed to be very hard. In comparison to the first one, which I was already raging at. Whoop, there it is. There's the... Fuck! Oh, I hit it. Oh, oh boy, going right from the uh, other Mario 2 to this one. Shit. Mario moves a lot different in this. Oh boy. Oh, oh, that's clever. They like have the Koopa set up so that you're mm, probably gonna hit the block with with the mushroom. I'm uh, not gonna hit any of those because I already got the mushroom and I know what dangers lurk. But yeah, this is the one where they were like, oh, I don't think American kids are. S s Hardcore enough for this game. Hold on. Can I get in there? Well, I can get over there. So, with that in mind, we're gonna keep it going. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoop. Oh my god, yeah. This is already like pretty hardcore for a first level. A lot of, a lot of dudes. I guess they presume that you played the first one. Oh, is there a difference between Mario and Luigi game? I figured it was just, uh, that was just who you play as in that mode. It looked, uh, I don't know. I do prefer Luigi, you know. I think he, he deserves a little more credit than he gets. Oh. Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. Now, I'm curious if there's warps in this, because I will be using them if there are. Fuck! Whoo! I... Wow, yeah, sorry. I, I'm still really not used to how Classic Mario moved. Because the, the other Super Mario Brothers 2... It moved in a, uh, a, uh, a better way, to be honest. I do not like this momentum. It feels very bad. I'm just gonna, you know, we're just gonna ignore all that business. Let's see if there's a warp. There's probably, it's probably just gonna trick me into thinking there's one, and then, uh, whoop, yep. 
Ooh, you son of a bitch. Shigeru! Ah, well, that, that makes sense. Oh my god, and he comes after you like that? That's nonsense. They, they expect children to play this game. Oh. I don't believe it. A blooper, oh no, bloopers in the air. There's no, there's no justification for that. I'm just stupid. I didn't hit the jump. I know why I didn't, but I just, for some reason my brain was just like, you don't need to hit that bun yet. Whoa, okay. <sighs> oh good, okay, you do start on the same level with this continue at least. You don't have to start the world over. That is appreciated. Oh god, yep, it's bloopers in the air. I don't like that. I don't like that, I didn't order that. Whew! Okay, oh fuck! Did not go far enough, did not go far enough. <laughs> come on now, come on now. Fuck! I knew it. I knew this one was going to be harder, but holy shit. I did not expect this. Yeah, I'm just going to no comment on that one. Oh, yeah, this is just... God, these controls kind of suck. Motherfucker. There's like, the inertia is ridiculous. Well, it's like, yeah, you're just kind of like slippery slidey. I really, I really do not like this, to be honest. Fuck! I get people grew up with it, you know. I mean, I guess not necessarily this one. This is one that didn't show up until much later. But, like, yeah, the OG Mario controls are not good. They're just they're just really s slippery and nasty. Whoa, oh, shit. Everything feels like a fucking oil slick. And people give Bubsy shit because, oh, it's got... It's got slippery controls. Listen, listen, Bubsy was a goddamn bobcat. All right? It makes sense. You ever seen a bobcat design a game? I ain't great at it. But goddamn, do I appreciate them for trying. Oh, well, whoops. Ah. <sighs> Alright, since I can't do warps in this, at least not that I've seen yet. Um, ooh. We are gonna go through this whole game. Fuck! Really? He doesn't float, he glides. Why he does it? Eh. Bobcat. I'm guessing they looked at Bobcats and like, oh, they got those big old fluffy hands. What if they could, whoosh, you know? Gliding. Um, I'm not saying that Bubsy is really that good. Everything I've seen is that uh, it's pretty bad, but I like to hold a candle for the guy. It's Rob Paulson, man. That's the thing is like Rob Paulson has been in so much shit the like, by all accounts, should was just like designed to capitalize on other stuff. Like he was in, um, he was in Bubsy, which was clearly supposed to capitalize on like Sonic and Mario. He was in uh, Coconut Fred in Fruit Salad Island, which was supposed to be SpongeBob. And he was in so many TMNT knockoffs. He was also in TMNT, which helps. But the TMNT knockoffs. Oh, there was so many. I... 
Okay, I'm gonna go to my next game over or to the end of this world, whichever comes first. Because I don't think it'll take that long. These levels are pretty short. And I die a lot. Oh my god. So yeah, that I'm I'm gonna end it after that. Um oof. I wish you could see a little further ahead, man. Oh, yes! You can give me the star man! Yes. Oh. You can't swim in the water. You can't swim in the water. That makes sense. I totally understand that making sense. It definitely makes sense that Mario can't swim in the water. Oh, I spit everywhere. Ugh. Ugh, well that's all over my keyboard. Starman. Starman, give it to me. Fuck, fuck it. Ugh, I miss in uh, Mario World when he does little flips. When he has a Starman's. Oh god, do I have to use this? Holy shit! What the fuck? Where am I? Where am I? What's going on? Oh, fuck. What was that? <laughs> I, was, ooh, I went very high up. I don't know where I ended up. It didn't feel good. go just go and hope I land in the correct place what the fuck that's nuts why has no one ever told me oh thanks Goombas why has nobody ever told me that shit that was bananas holy shit yeah I've never played lost levels I'm gonna say that now um because I just always heard it was hard and just basically the first Mario but more but it's like wow no they tried some new shit and it's like it's actually, like, pretty interesting. Is it good? Eh. Woo! I can't really say for sure. Uh, I s can understand why this was going to be Mario 2. Before they decided to go the Doki Doki to panic! Doki Doki literature. Alright, I think I will probably lose it on this one, but that's okay. I'll just hit save and quit. So we're coming close to the end. Uh, I'm gonna do my spiel later. I really need to focus. Sometimes I do the spiel while I'm still playing, but uh, not this time, baby. Woo -hoo! Oh my god. Yeah, this already feels like world fucking seven. I guess the implic. Mm. The implication is that you would be playing this directly after the first one. Oh. Well, well, well. Guess that's going to do it for tonight. So, I want to thank you all for watching tonight. If you want to see the beginning of the stream because you came in later or any of my earlier streams, you can see the last 14 days worth on the past broadcast tab up above on the browser version. You can also find my YouTube archive, Iggy Kid Twitch archive, down below. That's linked. Uh, you can also find my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape. I post movie reviews mostly. Uh, I post some other things about board games and some other things, like the videos I was talking about earlier. Uh, I'm working on some stuff. I definitely want to make some more analysis stuff. So please subscribe there. You'll find some fun stuff. If you want to catch any future streams, you can check the schedule down there, which has a general idea. I'm just going to be playing this through Thursday and then 3D All-Stars for that weekend. And then we'll see after that. I'll keep you all updated. Uh, you can also find a more detailed schedule with specific times over on the main channel page. If you click the icon down there on the browser version, it'll take you to that. You can see the little schedule tab. It's all subject to change, though, so the way that you really can find out when I'm going live is either following me on Twitter, because I tweet when I go live, and that is going to be accurate. I'll give you the specific time. Sometimes I come in a little late, whatever. It's just going to be by a few minutes. Don't worry about it. You can also follow me by hitting the heart, which is going to help me out, and it's free for you if you have an account and all that, so why not? You know, I'd really appreciate it, so please consider following. You'd get a notification by email, text, whatever you want to set up in your account for when I go live, so that's another great way to do it. Um, anything else? Cons consider following. Follow me on YouTube, Twitter, all that. Yeah, so... 
I really do want to thank you for inviting me into your home, your tablet, your computer, your phone, your game console. However you watched tonight, I really, really appreciate it. And I hope I brought some levity and entertainment to your life. And remember, if nobody else tells you this, if nobody else has ever told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Good night, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, 8 o'clock, for the next stream. More Mario for the next few days. Good night.